This is Aging by the Bay, here to provide families in the San Francisco Bay Area pertinent information about healthy aging practices and services. Your host is Ajay Sani of Comfort Care Home Care. Good morning and welcome everyone to Aging by the Bay, where we provide families in the San Francisco Bay Area relevant information about healthy aging practices and services. I'm your host, Ajay Sani from Comfort Care Home Care. With Comfort Care, you can give your loved ones the best life possible. Thanks to Complete In-Home Care for every stage of life. Find out more at ComfortCare.com or call us at 1-800-886-4044. At Aging by the Bay, we talk about joys and some of the challenges of growing older in the Bay Area. We talk to experts about what they see happening as people age, as well as the services that are available that you or your loved ones may not be aware of. First of all, I want to thank our sponsor, A Love for Seniors, who specializes in helping seniors find residential care homes, assisted living facilities, and memory care assistance. You can contact them directly at 1-800-850-9102. Their website is www.aloveforseniors.com. And again, their number is 1-800-850-9102. It is my absolute pleasure today to introduce Trish Snowden, who has been working in senior living with Sunrise for almost five years. She is currently Director of Sales at Sunrise Villa of San Ramon. She was drawn to this industry because of her own parents' journey into senior living. She is passionate about helping families and seniors with this decision. So, Trish, how are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you, AJ, and thank you for having me. Really appreciate the opportunity to uh, talk to the to the uh, listeners out there and give out some great information today. We are looking forward to that. And I want to start with like, you know, one thing that change is always difficult. Yes. And, <laughs> and there is one thing when somebody feels like, okay, I need to move out from my home to a community. And that can be like, you know, different for different people. So... Let's start with when is it a good time for an individual or families to start looking, you know, for a senior housing community? Yeah, that's a really great question. And, you know, it, it it's always time to look. I mean, and mm-hmm. particularly my, you know, one of the biggest pieces of, of advice I can give to people, having spoken to so many families in crisis, mm-hmm. is look before you're in crisis. We all know that maybe ourselves, our parents, everyone's aging, okay? Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. actually isn't ever going to change. <laughs> yeah. We're all aging. So we know at some point it's a possibility uh, that we may need senior living. Right. So look as soon as possible. Look in your 50s. Look mm-hmm. in your 60s. Look in your 70s. Don't wait. And I really encourage people to don't put that burden on your children. Mm-hmm. Start looking. Have a plan. Everyone has a financial plan, right? Right. This needs to be part of that plan. We make advanced directives. We do all kinds of things. Mm-hmm. We have, you know, our life insurance and our, you know, our retirement plan in place financially. This should be part of the plan, but it's hard mm-hmm. because it's not something people like to think about. We don't like to think about aging and possibly Mm-hmm. Maybe having some deficiencies at you know as we grow older, and needing help, but absolutely start looking. I I give tours to people not regularly, but every so often I'll mm-hmm. have a a couple that's you know in their mid sixties and they'll uh-huh. drop in and they say we're just making a plan and I'm like you guys are amazing mm-hmm. because why not look around, educate yourself, see what's out there, and um, have that plan so it's never too soon to start looking um and you know and to start shopping around and see because there's so many different options out there so it's never too soon and it's never too late either again i mentioned that i talked to families in crisis absolutely somebody's in the hospital needs a place can't Mm -hmm. go back home obviously that's a good time too yeah obviously right It, it makes sense because Change can be difficult if it's unplanned, but if we are plan planning for something like this, then mm-hmm. we know mm-hmm. and then we can decide on our own rather than relying on circumstances exactly. or somebody else making a decision exactly. on behalf of us. Do it while you still can be involved in the decision. Someone else telling you you've got to go. And then at that point, there may be limited options as to what's available and you kind of have to take whatever's out there. 
that can provide that care that you may need. So true, so true. So the next question I have is like, you know, what are the different types of places that are available, you know, because we all are different. We may like, you know, I may be very outgoing and want like a place where I can be very active and all that or a person can be quiet or physical circumstances may dictate certain things. So maybe you can educate our listeners of the different types of places and options have a label out there. There are many different options, you know, available for all lots of different stages. You mm-hmm. know, I think, you know, first of all, um, I think country club living, I mean, that's kind of people start to think about, well, that's where you go when you retire. Mm-hmm. So that's independent living, but it's, it's very independent and very active. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to kind of start right after that because I okay. think that is still, you know, pretty pretty much your basic, you know, it's home ownership and so mm-hmm. forth. But what's the next step? What's the step when you don't want to care for a home anymore? Maybe you've lost a spouse and you're lonely at home, mm-hmm. but you're still independent. But so, it yeah. really doesn't serve you to stay at home alone and, you know, you've maybe lost some friends you maybe you're not driving as much you Mm -hmm. probably still drive but gosh I don't I really just go to the store and I do you know some some basic things but so independent living is a great option for those that are really still wanting to have an active life Mm -hmm. and a social life yeah um, but don't want that drudgery of kind of home ownership and Mm -hmm. and having the home so that's independent living Um, and then assisted living Uh, And this is all in a community setting. Um, Assisted living is that next step where you might need some help with your activities of daily living. So those Mm -hmm. things like maybe showering, uh, maybe mobility. Maybe you've had a fall. Maybe Mm -hmm. you've had some surgeries, hip surgery, knee Mm -hmm. surgeries. We all know how common that is. Those type of things where you just need a little bit of assistance. Maybe managing your medications. The list you see of the medications that people take. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I could manage that Mm -hmm. at my age. And so that's something oftentimes that is just nice to be able to have somebody else manage that uh, fully. And so people give that to you on time, order Mm -hmm. it for you. You can just take that off your plate, you know. You know, you become forgetful, too. It's like, did I take it? I, I, I don't know. I took it yesterday. Was that today that I took it? Those things are just normal. You know? Yeah, so especially not, especially with medicine. I mean, you cannot have like m- more or less. It has to be exact. It has to be exact. So why not get some help with those things? Mm-hmm. Um, and that's assisted living. There's large communities. Mm-hmm. There's small communities. There's uh, things uh, places called a board and care home. So that's going to be like a, a single family home mm-hmm. that maybe has four or five, six bedrooms. And though each bedroom would be, uh, you know, rented to uh, a resident. So mm-hmm. smaller setting, you know, still provide the meals for them, provide the care for them, but a little bit smaller setting mm-hmm. that maybe, you know, they don't need a big community with activities and so forth, but something maybe their their care is a little bit more. They really need somebody to be able to be there mm-hmm. quickly. They need someone with constant supervision. A smaller place might be better. Or someone like that, where a community-based right. uh, living is really going to be more focused on um, uh, at the activity portion as well, that mm-hmm. socialization portion. And and you can age in place in most communities as well. And there is also memory care, of mm-hmm. course. Uh, some facilities will have memory care uh, neighborhoods that might be secure mm-hmm. in nature. Uh, so that way, for anyone that's, you know, dementia or Alzheimer type, uh, issues, yep. they could be in a safe environment. And then the programs and activities are going to be geared toward that resident as well. Yeah, They can still participate in so many great activities to enhance their day. Yeah, So uh, those options are available. Yeah, so it's, it's all about like, no matter where you are, making the most out of it and enjoy the life you know that's precious life uh, exactly. have, have fun exactly make make the best just because you've got an ailment or maybe some cognitive disability um alzheimer's it doesn't mean that you still can't live your best life on how you are today yeah you don't yeah. need to stop living exactly you know? and that's the whole concept i think of of assisted living about 37 38 years 
And that was the whole point. Let's make places where people can go live yeah. and not just go to die, which is kind of the old nursing home concept. And it's, it's, it's difficult because so many seniors at, at today have that concept in their mind. Yeah. And it's hard to think about going, I don't want to go die. I'm not ready to go die. Yeah. This is not what today's assisted living is about at mm -hmm. all. It's a place to go live and thrive and and do things that you know you still want to do. Yeah, and which is which is uh, such a nice thing to have options because mm -hmm. we all are different. Like there are, and the stages change. Like sometimes people they don't want to move out of their homes because they say, okay, this this is the place I have been living all along, mm -hmm. and they say, oh no, I want to die here. I want to you know live mm -hmm. rest of my life over here, which is fine if they are you know they feel they can do that. Mm -hmm. But the point comes where. It's in the interest of the family or interest mm -hmm. of the individual or a couple that, okay, they can move to a facility where they can be uh, in, a, in a better situation. And today I may say that oh, I want to live on my home, but maybe five years down the line, the best thing for me could be that, okay, I need to move to a community. So there are options. And end of the day, we need to do what is the best option. So yeah, and I would encourage people, as you're saying that, it's making me, you know, want to tell people that think about a move before yeah. that five years. So I want to stay home. I'm adamant about staying home, but fast forward five years. Yeah. Wow. I might, I, 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 I should have left. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you can tend to see a decline mm -hmm. and then, you know, wh why pass up all those five years? Right. I could have been really thriving versus declining, you know, and it's, you know, if people really want to pro prolong their life and, you know, promote longevity, socialization is key, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. it's key. So I just, you know, put that out there that, you know, I have a resident that, you know, recently moved in to our community in San Ramon. She's 91 mm -hmm. and she had a, her beloved home. She lost her husband many years ago. Yeah. And she said, I really struggled at first. Uh -huh. And then she said, one day something clicked. And I mm. said, you know what? This is a new adventure. Who thought at 91, yeah. I was going to have a new adventure? Yeah. You know? Uh -huh. And she said, I got rid of everything in my house. I mm -hmm. saved a few little trinkets. But I said, I'm going to, you know, mm -hmm. fully furnish this new apartment with yeah. different furnishings. And this is my new adventure. Yeah. And it's just, it's a blessing to be able to still have a new adventure, you know? Yeah. And again, that just, you can be independent. You can be assisted. It doesn't matter Mac, yeah. just because you've had maybe an ailment. Maybe you had a stroke. Maybe you had, you know, a uh, knee surgery to the point where you're not able to walk well anymore or even, you know, have dementia. It still applies to everyone in those situations. Yeah. You know, new adventures are... It's your choice. So. You're absolutely right. There are so many options available. And end of the day, it's about like picking the right one for. Exactly. And, and it's like very individual thing. Yeah. On that note, like you mentioned, we should start early or whenever we can. And so what should be the criteria like or what are the factors we should keep in mind when we begin the search? Yeah, I think there's there's so many factors because different things are important to different people. One of the mm -hmm. very first questions I always ask people when they come in is what's important to you mm -hmm. or what's important to your loved one that you may be looking for. And uh -huh. so I always try to find out what that is. Um, and there may be many different things that come up. Safety mm -hmm. is an answer that I get a lot. So if that's important to you, what safety measures are in place at the communities? Do mm -hmm. you have call buttons? What's the... What's the amount of time if someone pushes a call button in their room? How, what can I expect as far as getting help? What if my mom falls? Mm -hmm. You know, all of those type of things. What if, what if she gets confused and walks out of the building? So safety related is, is super important. So ask questions about safety. How can my mom or my dad mm -hmm. or myself, if I'm looking for myself, how can I be safe in this environment? Finding out uh, the staff. I mean, mm -hmm. this is the, you know, who, who are the staff? How long have they been here? Can I meet some of them? Yeah. You know, you're typically going to meet with someone like me when mm -hmm. you go in. I'm the salesperson. And I always tell people I'm the least important person in this equation. I'm introducing you to the building. Mm -hmm. But everybody else in this building is going to be the one that's going to take care of you. 
Yeah. I'm part of the team, mm-hmm. but I'm really kind of on the outside talking yeah. to new people. We have an executive director. Mm-hmm. Please meet that person. If you don't meet that person or get introduced to that person mm-hmm. or be, t- you know, at least told who it is and maybe receive a call from that person, that makes me nervous mm-hmm. because I think that person is running the building. They're yeah. the person that holds the license for that building. So mm-hmm. please meet that person. Ask to meet that person. Ask to meet the director of care. Mm-hmm. Who's going to be caring? Who's in charge of all the caregivers that are going to be providing that hands-on care? That care is very intimate. It's very important that you know who those people are. Um, uh, you know, dining. Mm-hmm. Try to go have a meal there. I mean, any place will certainly yeah. open their doors to have you come in and try the food. Uh, my community, for instance, has a program where you can actually spend the night. Mm-hmm. If you're independent, we can't provide care, of course, to someone that we don't have the information, proper information on. But if you're independent or if you're, you need assistance and if you bring a family member with you, you can stay overnight in my community for free, mm-hmm. do all the activities, try, you know, eat every meal, meet some of the residents. It's one of the best ways to really see if it's a community that feels right. Yeah. You know, because until you're there and actually sleep in the building and really get a feel for the building and who the residents are that live there and if, yeah. it's, if it's a happy environment, um, that's a great way to do it. So ask if they have that type of program. I, I like it. Be. It's like kind of a live demo, right? It it just is. You're experiencing that. It is. It is. And we offer that to anyone that's considering and, and looking uh, at, you know, possible senior living. Um you, you know, um, there are, you know, assisted living is licensed by the state. Mm-hmm. So look at the state website. Those things are important. You know, we are, um, you know, open. We're an open book. Anytime the state walks into our building, we have to provide them all kinds of information. They're going to tour our building. They're going to, if there's certain things and there's certain standards that we mm-hmm. need to live up to, if yep. we're not, we will get deficiencies and we will be reported on that state's website for assisted living facilities so check those out those yeah. are important you may be surprised at um at what you find there so i definitely would encourage people mm-hmm. to look at those as well um and just it, it's important today the the you know the biggest way that i uh the people learn about our communities mm-hmm. are through the internet mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and we're all about the internet right yeah. we're all about research and mm-hmm. doing everything online you absolutely cannot get a feel for a community unless you're walking the door. Mm-hmm. So walk in the door. Don't be afraid to walk in the door. That's a hard <laughs> thing to do because yeah. you're facing something that maybe you don't want to face. Which yeah. is, you know, aging and, you know, maybe uh, that big change that you talked about that's mm-hmm. hard. So uh, come in. Just yeah. come in. There's no, you know, it should not be a high pressure. There's, It could be. You know, tomorrow that you need to move in, it could be five years down the road. I have relationships with families for years at a time before they finally make that decision. That is 100% a okay when it's the right time. Good. So moving on, you mentioned a few things here. So what stand out, like, you know, what's the differentiator or anything that you you say, I'm proud of, Sunrise, Villa, San Ramon, these are the things... So anything that you want to share with the listeners? Yeah, I think one of the one of the things that I really love about Sunrise Villa San Ramon is our independent component mm-hmm. uh, really has, we have so many active residents that are really engaged in life and want to further their life. Right? Mm-hmm. You know, even though they're, you know, could be anywhere from I've got as young as 60 to as old as 102. So um, it, there's so many things. Um, for them to participate in. And our programming activities department uh-huh. is, is just key. Sunrise Villa is a, is a brand of Sunrise that uh-huh. really promotes a lot of activity and programming. Mm-hmm. And um, we interview every resident that comes in and uh, find out what those things are that they are good at, what they would like to do, what they still want to do, mm-hmm. what legacy they want to leave. For mm-hmm. their family and make sure we can help participate and facilitate that for them um, and 
create activities based on what they want to do. And it's really customized. And I think that's one of the things we're proudest of Mm -hmm. is we don't just throw bingo on every day. (laughs) It's a lot more than that. It's volunteering in the community. It's going to places like Half Moon Bay. It's Mm -hmm. going up to Cash Creek for a little, a little gambling, you know, happy hours, uh, you know, um, uh, devotions, you know, so you name it, we're going to do it. Exercise. It's just, it's endless. And, and if we don't do it and you want to do it, if you're uh-huh. a resident, we will add it to our calendar. So that's something, you know, the Villa communities are really proud of. Very exciting. Very exciting. Mm-hmm. So then comes another important question. Mm-hmm. Pricing. By that, I mean to say, like, you know, people ha- need to pay where they are living. But then they, we all are in different financial um, stages and the pocket may allow, may not allow certain things. So do you want to highlight a few things or options that people may not be aware of that can make things easier? Yeah, so I think it's it's really important. Don't assume that you can't afford it. Mm-hmm. You know, go in and talk to the community because many communities may have a low-income program. Okay. We, For instance, our community does have a low-income program. Mm-hmm. 34 of our units are designated low-income. Okay. So, you know, call us or call call any community that may be in your neighborhood. If mm-hmm. you're not in the San Ramon neighborhood, call mm-hmm. the community and find out. Um, and typically, if, if they don't offer it, they may know someone who is. Um Reach out to, uh, if you're a veteran, there's uh-huh. programs for veterans. Um, it's called Aid in Attendance, and mm-hmm. that can uh, provide some uh, assistance uh, when, you're, when you're in need of assisted living. Mm-hmm. Um, there are um, life insurance policies sometimes that can be converted to living policies to okay. help pay for care. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's um, many things, you know, Medicare, unfortunately, at this point does not cover assisted living or mm-hmm. independent living. Mm-hmm. They would only cover a skilled nursing stay mm-hmm. uh, that you may need. But um, check with the community. See yeah. what programs they have. Um, check with your financial advisor. We partner, Sunrise partners with a company called Elder Life that really looks through, they'll look through a long-term care policy. Mm-hmm. If anyone has long-term care, that's absolutely a great program for assisted living. Um, and and Elder Life will help you know, kind of run through people's options and to ask them many questions to find out what they may qualify for and how they may help them, um, you know, find ways to get creative to pay. Great. I think this is very useful information. So to wrap up, I will say that any final thoughts or suggestions, anything I may not have asked or anything that you want to add or want to summarize regarding regarding this topic, you know, so people yeah. can get into this phase um, make that can make easier for them yeah i i think it's it's let's let's use the nike saying mm-hmm. just do it okay don't be afraid don't be afraid there's you know come in and just talk to i can tell you probably without a doubt that any salesperson that works in this industry uh-huh cares about what they're doing we wouldn't do it unless mm-hmm. you know we really cared about seniors and cared about helping people Go in. Don't be afraid. You know, this is this is not a timeshare presentation. Uh, right? yeah. we don't, we're not trying to sell somebody something. I may talk to people and it may not even be the right situation, you know, but I can help guide them in and help them. So just don't be afraid. Check it out. It's never too late. It's never too early. Um, yeah. This is so good. Like, I'm, I'm happy that, you know, you have sh- shared uh, so much information about this so that people get overwhelmed like they don't know what to do so listeners out there start yeah do it. i like take it. a step yeah take just step. as i said yeah. like nike just do it just do it yep. great thanks a lot for your time today trisha thank you so much for having me i really appreciate it yeah so thank you for joining us on aging by the bay today this show was brought to you by comfort care and a love for seniors this weekly show provides information that helps our seniors age better please visit our sponsors website a love for seniors.com you can contact them directly at 1-800-850-9102 we hope that you enjoyed the show and please subscribe to our podcast that is available at itunes google play stitcher and soundcloud 
You can find the show and also previous shows at our website, agingbythebay.com. We love your feedback and so please leave your comments. If you have any question for our featured guests or want to become a featured guest, please contact us by sending an email at info at agingbythebay.com. Again, a big thank you to our sponsors, a love for seniors and to Comfort Care, Home Care. This has been an Aging by the Bay show addressing issues on aging and services available for our elderly population. We will be back next Saturday at same time, 10 o'clock. Until then, take care and be safe. This has been Aging by the Bay with Ajay Sani, addressing issues on aging and services for the elderly community. Join us again next week for Aging by the Bay.